So this is where I'm staying for tonight, a tent. And in fact, we have many tents here as you can see, but this is the one I'm staying at. Most people don't know about it, which is awesome. But I wanted to share this uh, amazing public speaking tip with you guys inside the Confident Action Taker WhatsApp group. Um, Anupama has been telling me good things about you guys, that you are making progress, you are um, asking questions, you are you're posting your affirmation audio. Some of you have, some of you haven't, which is fine. Um, I can't take responsibility for your success. You got to do the work. But here's the deal. Um, you know, I just showed you the tent in a minute, right? Um, many times, by the way, look at that. Many times uh, people become very boring in, in their lives. Uh, what I mean by that is they just do the same old thing. And you might have done that. You might have seen that before, which is they just read the same thing. They wake up and eat the same breakfast. They have the same exact thing, same car to the office, same office, same work, same boss, same employees, if you have employees, and pretty much the same lifestyle, the same traffic while coming back home, the same old conflict, and I'm not feeling good, I'm feeling tired, I'm stressed out, and the same hiding in relationships, the same things uh, keep happening, and many times that becomes a pattern for many people. Can you relate to that? Huh? So... For me, for the last few years, um, especially, I would say, last four years, I have been, uh, I mean, four years, last four years before uh, 2017, 2018 rather, so I would say 2013 till 2017, I, I became very habituated, you know, staying in uh, only five-star hotels and, you know, getting the luxurious uh, treatments, which is awesome, something I enjoy. And then uh, probably in September 2017, I realized that, you know, I enjoy all that. That's great. I love luxury. But for me, I realized that one thing that, that matters more now uh, than before is doing the things and living in places that are more adventurous for me. So just in a few hours, this entire place is going to be like dark and there are going to be just a few lights like this one, right? And, and that's what I love. That's what I want. So I want to have that thrill uh, more than ever before. So if that means going on a mountain trip, if that means going on a trekking, uh, if that means staying in a tent, um, if that means staying in a jungle, if that means going for a ride, uh, in the middle of the night at 2 a.m., I do that. And here is why. Remember, one of the things I always say is the enemy, the enemy of a communicator is being boring. Sameness is the enemy. Boring, being boring. If you are saying the same thing, doing the same thing, it becomes boring. Life works the same way. So if you're not bringing variety in your life every single day, every single week, every single month, every single year into your life, and if you're doing the same old thing, guess what? You're not going to get any newer results. Uh, results are going to be pretty much exactly the same it was, as it was. And because I think it was Einstein who said it, right? That um, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. So if you do want uh, a different result for yourself, uh, for people around you, uh, you got to do something different. That If that means, going, like I said, going on trekking in the middle of, uh, middle of the... Um, middle of a busy uh, time, um, go do it. If that means walking bare feet um, on grass, do it. If that means, you know, doing the things that you never done before, do it. And in the presentation context, if that means um, not using slides, do it. If that means using a flip chart, do that. If that means um, being more fun and humorous in your presentation, do that. Because once you do that, you become more interesting um, and remember that if you want your audience to be interested, you have to be interesting. And, you know, I'm going to be uh, meeting soon uh, all the members of the Balanced Life Mastermind. And it's going to be awesome because they're going to be learning more from me about how to improve their life more. But I thought of coming here and relaxing for a few, um, for a few days. And uh, that gives me that ultimate edge. And one of the things I find out many times, by the way, look at the pool. Some people are, uh, 
One of the things I find out is many times people are so busy um, creating quote-unquote success in their lives that they don't really have the time for any um, any happiness. They're like just busy. They're busy, 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 busy working, busy doing this, busy doing that. And, and then one day they die and people miss them for a week or a month but eventually everybody goes on, nobody remembers them and the people in the mastermind never wanted to be like that. Right? They, they wanted that ultimate freedom and they wanted to be legendary. They wanted to be legendary. They wanted to be legendary. And that's why they are here. That's why they learned from me. Uh, that's why I led the group. Because if you know my story, I was not born with a silver spoon in my mouth. I, I was born in a middle class family. And growing up, we had tremendous amount of money problem. Growing up, we trem had tremendous amount of family problems and health problems and food problems and light problems and, you know, It was tough, man. It was tough to come from there and to be where I am. And I'm so grateful and happy that now we get to impact so many people. Um, and some of the best names, the gurus uh, in the world now, they reach out to me. Um, and I say that with, with gratitude and love. They reach out to me because they want to learn what I'm doing. And because they understand their life is out of balance. Their life is fogged up. It's because they have become so busy being busy they forgot the true meaning of life, which is ultimately happiness, fulfillment, and peace of mind. But how, how do you like the view, huh? How's the view? So that's all I have for you today. Um, I will be uh, meeting you. I think the, the date for your batch is November 17, 18. So we'll be meeting there. Um, see where I'm sitting. <laughs> I will be meeting you uh, on November 17 and 18. Um, we're going to be having a lot of fun for two days, going to be learning. Uh, you'll be meeting all my team members. Um, I'm actually looking, looking, at a, looking at a person who's just about to dive, um, but she's afraid. So if you could see right there, she's afraid a bit, somewhere there. But <clears throat> anyways, um, yeah, so November 17, 18, you'll be meeting all my team members. And my, I, I have an assignment for you today. My assignment for you is to tell me um, how much do you rate yourself in as an interesting speaker. So zero means absolutely boring and 10 means I'm very interesting as a speaker. Uh, I'm talking about you, not me, all right? So rate yourself zero to 10. Zero means only boring, 10 is absolutely interesting. Where do you currently rank yourself, number one? And number two, why? What's the biggest reason? you chose that number, you know, what's the, if you, for example, if you said, hey, I rank myself only two as an interesting speaker, thank you um, for your honesty, and then write why, you know, I, I rate myself two because of this, this, and this, and because I'm not this, I'm not this, and or I am this, and I'm this, that's why I rate myself two. So that's your assignment for today. Make sure you post it in the Confident Action Taker group where I think Anupama, Akash, uh, no, Anupama, Pramod, uh, and Rahul, I think, are the admins. So. You guys are making great progress. I look forward to seeing you. Bishal Sarkar here. Always reminding you that confidence is not about perfection. It's all about connection.